Backhand bank pass to Eber. Looking for someone in front, finds Perkusic. Backhand attempt. Oh, nice pass. Gorgeous pass from Coleman to Eber, who scores. It's one to nothing. Colonials out in front. When Quinn the Eskimo gets here, everybody's going to jump for joy. One zip Colonials. What a pass from Coleman. And Eber started it with a little drop pass and then continued circling around behind the net. Eber from the goal line to Perkusic to Coleman and then the backhander. Was that through the legs? It was. It was, it was definitely blind. And there was Eber coming around uh, the other side of the net. The back Alex Robert gave chase all the way back to the defensive end. Now Coyne down the left wing boards again, leaving it for McKellian. Wrist shot, and it went in. Hit a body and it went in. Brendan McKellian for the second straight night scores from the blue line for the Colonials. It's two to nothing. Lord knows I've paid some dues. Brendan McKellian has, and now it's paying off with goals. Yeah, top of the right circle. Not a great A opportunity, but not a horrible opportunity. And a good, good decision to just get the puck on the net. And, and the Colonials have a 2-0 lead over Canisius. And there's another element uh, that you look for when you're looking for more offense, the defenseman chipping in. Three on one, Grant e. Bear, pass, shot, score! A return favor, Grant e. Bear to Coleman. I think Coleman dunked it in, but they're actually gonna give it to Granty Bear. It's Are his second already. I thought it was a return pass, but well, they're gonna say that uh, it went in on its own and Coleman didn't have to finish it off. Boy, if it did, it went through the goaltender. Uh, Ebear coming hard down the left wing and a nice centering pass. I don't know how that's not gonna be Coleman's goal, but we'll see what they call it. Now a wrist shot comes and actually it's tipped away back to Spellacy, followed up by Canisius in the offensive zone. Shot coming for the Griffins. Oh, what a save by Kappelmaster. How did that not go in? He absolutely robbed Simon Gravel, who scored last night. He can't find love on Locust Street. Look at it, it's Gravel all by himself, shoots it right into Kappelmaster's glove. They are uh, giving that third goal to e Bear, at least uh, for the time being. Tim gives it to Perkusic inside the right circle. They're playing pass with one another. Yeah, they're playing very slowly right now. McKellian feeding the left circle. Lynch shot to score. There it is. Luke Lynch on the board, and it's a power play goal, and it's 4 nothing Colonials. He ain't going to work on Maggie's farm no more. Luke Lynch gets his first of the season. Boy, we've been talking about it all night. Uh, the chances were piling up, and uh, just a couple of passes from the right point to the center point over to Lynch at the top of the right circle, and he let it go, a one-timer, and the streak is over. And Did you see that little shake of his head and fist pump? He takes a check. A little puck support coming from Gravel. Throwing it down towards the end line, and a wraparound shot and a score. It's stuffed in on the near side by Matt Long, who had six shots on goal through two periods, and he earned that one, four to one. Canisius gets on the board. Yeah, a real nice move around Coin in the circle to Kappel Masters left. They're going below the goal line and then pulling the puck back out into the slot area and beating Kappel Masters short side. That was now J.D. Pogue, who we saw quite a bit in the second period, not as much here in the third. Shot and a score. Oh, Pogue. Rifles that one short-handed. And now we've got a 4-2 hockey game. Yeah, I think he caught Kappelmaster by surprise there. Caught me by surprise. Uh, moving all Woo! the way across the ice. He was on the, the left side as he entered the zone and made a hard right, top of the right circle, and then went back short side with a rising shot. Stick side on Kappelmaster. He was down on his knees. And, and it looks like Eber will get one more shot off, goes off the stick of the goaltender, and that'll do it. Leave the lights on at the ground round. Colonials hang on to win four to two. Four nothing after the second period, just like last night. Four to two, the final score, just like last night. Colonials get three more points and we'll wrap it up on the UPMC Sports Medicine.